Morning everyone and welcome back to the Vauxhall Vivaro van build series. I'm taking a two hour journey down to Port Talbot. I'm going there to do a complete electric system. We might blow the van up, we might not, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I've arrived in Port Talbot uh, with Shemai and um, he's done a lovely fit out here on his van. Um, basically changing the design slightly, whereas you can have pull out benches on this side here, which you can pull out, which I'll do a little bit later on. Oh, there you go. So pull out benches. So it's, it's, instead of sleeping side on, you can actually sleep lengthways, which is really great. Um, I've already started on the electrics with the switchboard and I'll take you through that as well. Um, we've already got some uh, 240 sockets put in and some other cables which we'll go through a little bit later on. So let's get, uh, let's let's tell you what system we're actually going to be putting in this uh, this van today. And we're, we're going to out, we'll put it on the floor and we'll show you what we're so, doing. So no expense spared here today because we've got two 100 amp hour lithium batteries we've got a thousand watt inverter and we've also got a 50 dc to dc uh controller this will also act as a split charger for the leisure batteries so we're going to run a positive and a negative and then that will naturally charge the batteries whilst you're driving so there's a split charger within that we're also going to, I've already put in the switchboard and I'll show you um, how I've wired that in. We've also got a fuse box that we've got wired in. We've also got a dead switch, which we need to wire in as well. We're just waiting for that to come. And then we're going to wire in the complete system. It's a, a pretty epic system here. It's, it's much bigger than the system I've actually got in my Vauxhall Vivaro. Like I said, even with the lithium batteries, they're very lightweight compared to the 130 amp hour deep cycle cell battery I've got in, in my van. Well, we're just gonna talk about the switches that most of us have probably got in our vans. This one comes with the USB port and it comes with the cigarette lighter and it comes with the voltage meter. And generally, when it comes to you, it will come with a positive and negative and that will switch everything on you've obviously have your switch cables or your live cables if you like but the issue is is that then that stays on so your voltage meter will stay on all the time your usb port will stay on all the time and i actually don't like doing that and so what i've done is that i've actually cut off if you can see here you get your daisy chain of positives and then it stops before the last switch and again, with your negatives, daisy chain and stops on the last switch. So your last switch, you're gonna need a new positive and negative, and then your switch cable, you're gonna take and cut and then send to your USB port. So then when you switch this on, that will automatically then switch on your USB daisy chain to the voltage meter, daisy chain to the cigarette lighter. So that will be your four switches for your lights or your water pump or whatever you want to use. And then this switch is independent and that will switch on your appliances. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you can see, but we've got the fuse box here at the minute. We've got a number of wires all over the place because we've not uh, wired anything in. But so far we've wired in um, the fridge cable at the far side there, also the heater cable and also the light uh switch cables uh the the two that i showed you on this unit here there's a positive feed and a earth feed for the one switch which will be your usb and then over on the far side there you've got another at the back of here you've got a positive and earth which also goes down to the fuse box so you've got 
two lots of cables, two positives and two earths going back to the uh, fuse box there. And then on the back there, you've got all the switch cables. Now we've put the trunk in at the minute. We're going to build a box here, which is going, to, is going to cover everything up. And here you can see all the wiring on the back there. And these are all fused as well, individually fused. And they're all wired in. We've got USB, we've got main cabin lights, we've got the middle lights, and then we've got the back lights. And then we've also got the water pump already wired in there. Sorry, put my hand there. Um, and then over here, we're looking to put the 1000 watt inverter over here. We've got it vented out at the back there. We're also going to be put a vent in the front. Again, we've got this being mounted on the side here. And then we'll have the two lithium batteries on the inside here as well. There's a couple of cables for the lights or the, uh, the footwell lights, which was actually short. Not to worry, I'll just join them, shrink wrap them in. And as they are very low... Uh, amps anyway because they're footwell lights and bench lights it's not going to be an issue at all this is where we are so far just wiring it all in it's taken a fair bit of time to wire this in we've still got some other switches to wire in as well but uh let's get on with it and then uh, i'll take you through what we've done looking after the workers so just to confirm uh, the battery at the front here uh, here's the caravan double swivel seat so it does impede a little bit uh, we've got a 40 amp um, fuse going on to the uh, cable, which runs straight the way back to the DC to DC charger, as well as a negative cable or earth cable running all the way back to the back of the van as well. Okay, so it's a bit been a bit of a long day today, but we've actually managed to get everything in. Uh, the inverter is not currently wired up at the moment because we haven't got long enough cables and it's important that you use the correct size cables for that. Uh, but the lithium batteries are in and they're wired in series. Oh, I don't need the torch anymore, now I've got the lights on. Uh, the fuse box is in. DC to DC is in and working. We've not turned on the uh, solar at the moment. There's your separate usb switch and as you can see showing the voltage on there as well and your usb and your cigarette lighter is now active and ready to go switch that off there you go for your uh, footwell lights so we've just got the uh, led lights to wire in but we've run out of the leds they've not turned up today Thanks, Amazon. Um, and uh, the tap's working with actually really good amount of uh, power in that as well. So that's really good. Okay. Happy days. So it didn't go quite to plan. Uh, we actually ran out of time. I didn't get back home last night until about 11.30. So what we're going to do is that we're going to bring the van up here. And then I'm going to show you a more detailed uh, video of exactly where the wires go for the switches for the inverter we actually ended up not having a couple of parts that we ordered from amazon uh, a couple of 20 mil cables positive and negatives uh, which were for the inverter so we couldn't put that in as well as the kill switch we were still waiting to put the kill switch in so We've still got a few jobs to do. Um, we're waiting for some LED lights as well that he's uh, going to bring bring over. And we'll finish uh, doing his van uh, next time. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Um, and it's always good to see other people's builds as well. Stay tuned. See you soon.